Hello friends, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, in our organic chemistry main reaction section playlist, we are going to learn a new topic that is Shapiro reaction. So what is Shapiro reaction? What is the principle? How it works? What is the mechanism and how it can be applicable? That we are going to learn in this video. So quickly we are going to the next slide. That is principle of this reaction. The reaction of prosylated hydrazine with two moles of alkyl lithium and the intermediate further reacted with bases like sodium methoxide, lithium hydride, sodium hydride, sodium hydride, etc. It will result into some alkene or you can say olefins. Both are seen. Alkenes and olefins are seen. Is known as Shapiro reaction. Is known as Shapiro reaction, right? So simple prosylated hydrazine reacts with two moles of alkyl lithium. Why? Because we want to take two protons from the prosylated hydrazine, right? And further reacts with the given basis will result into alkenes or olefins. Quickly, we go to the reaction. You can see a starting material is tosylated, tosylated hydrazine. Now, how it can be prepared? It is very simple. Here, the compound is taken in form of here R1. In place of R, I am just writing two. R2 means R2, three means R3. And here, you should take one ketone. You should take one ketone, right? If you react this ketone with hydrazine, H, one H here and NH2. It is, it means Na2NA2, hydrazine, right? Normally in laboratory, it is available in the form of hydrazine hydride, but you can take as hydrazine. So this hydrazine, if reacts with the ketone, will result into the removal of water minus H2O. And what we will get? We will get hydrazide formation. Here 1 means R1, 2 means R2 and 3 means R3. But here now after removal of water, this carbon will make a double bond with the nitrogen. Which one? I am denoting by green color. This nitrogen, right? Is here. And further one more NH2. Right? So, you will get hydrazide formation. Now, we should react it with tosyl chloride. Tosyl means what? It is nothing but para toluene sulfonyl chloride. Para toluene sulfonyl. Here, this CH3. And here, we should write SO2Cl. So, tosyl chloride is highly reactive to NH2. So, one hydrogen from here, one Cl from here, minus HCl will be there, and formation of this bond will result into this compound. Will result into this compound. So, it is very clear how it can be formed, right? And if it reacts with two molecules of butyl lithium, the anion will form here, and by nucleophile, sorry, electrophile. We can react here and we can get E over here, formation of a new double bond. Suppose you have H, H plus, you will get the simple alkene, right? So this is the reaction for Shapiro reaction. Now how it's happening, we are going to learn by the detailed mechanism of that. So next, quickly we are going to the mechanism. You can see this is the basic structure, what we took in the previous slide. You can see same structure I drawn here, right? Now we are taking butyl lithium. As we know, butyl lithium always get ionized. Li positive and Bu minus, butyl minus. Why? Because carbon of butyl connected to the lithium is more electronegative. It will take electron and Li will always have positive charge. Li will always have positive charge, right? Now, 
the butyl will donates it electron to the hydrogen so hydrogen may have little more electron density so it will donate it electron to the nitrogen because nitrogen is more electronegative so the nitrogen may have now negative charge nitrogen may have now negative charge and loss of one hydrogen on its own position same thing we can do by another butyl uh, lithium we can take another butyl lithium as we wrote in the principle we have to utilize two butyl lithium as i told li will be always positive and butyl will be negative why because it are more electronegative in comparison with lithium right so we may have butyl negative it has electron so minus charge it will donate electron to the hydrogen present on our carbon you can see one well, hydrogen is already present here right so this hydrogen will gain electron from the butyl minus and the bond uh, the bond will donate its electron to the this carbon shifting of this bond will happen the h may plus it will go with butyl minus and this carbon gains electron so with negative charge right now this nitrogen is more electronegative so it will take electron from here this pi bond will become polar so this may have negative charge this may have positive charge this positive and negative positive and negative charge here formation of a new pi bond will be there that is here that is here right so now we have another new pi bond but here negative charge will make some inductive effect and tocyl group will leave its position with the electron so this carbon already have one negative charge but after losing this bond it may have some positive charge it may have some positive charge it may lead to a bond formation new bond formation nitrogen nitrogen bond formation over here the positive and negative charge will create a bond over here and this is this one right so formation of a new pi bond will take place so finally what we get finally what we get we just converted this structure into this by a simple mechanism right now you can see uh, the arrow arrow here shows that the electron is going to this carbon so this nitrogen may have little positive charge this positive charge will attract the electron on the nitrogen which creates negative charge so between this positive and negative nitrogen another bond formation will be there so it will be removed as molecule of n2 from the molecule and as electron is donated to this carbon this carbon should possess negative charge which is already present here which is already present here right so now we have electron over here carb anion is here so one electrophile one electrophile say for example h positive say for example h positive will attach with here and if h is here you can write simple alkene or e is here you can write any electrophile right so by this way our peratosyl uh, sulfonyl chloride creates with this one creates peratosyl hydrazine peratosyl hydrazine will convert into the alkene or you can say olefin so this is simple mechanism for the sepiro reaction now we are going for the application part suppose you have a tosylated hydrazine in this form if you react with methyl lithium you see the butyl lithium is not necessary you can use other alkyl lithium also so another example is here methyl lithium it converting 98% product into this way and 2% product into the this way same way another example you can see the peratosyl hydrazine compound is taken right and it reacts with the methyl lithium go undergo sepiro reaction and further undergoes the formation of a olefin bond olefin bond over here so which is our focus area this is our focus area right so by this way sepiro reaction can convert into the olefins to the peratosyl hydrazine or you can take any ketones as a starting material 
and get converted into the alkenes. So this is all about the Shapiro reaction. I hope you get everything in about that. In the next video, we will learn about a new name reaction. So be ready for the next lecture. We will see new name reaction into that. And thank you very much for watching this video very patiently. Hope you learned a lot from this. And I request you all, if you have some time, please like and make some comment. If you have any question related to the reaction, you can put in the uh, comments. I will try to answer everything. Okay. Thank you very much for listening me patiently. We will meet in the next video.